Hey, this is Cola Concrete Iron, and I am currently in a very deep hole. We're currently about 70 feet below the streets of Dallas, Texas. I'm standing here with Jeff Hooper, who's over this project for DPR. Jeff, thanks for having us out today. I really appreciate it. Yeah, man, really glad you guys could be out here. As Cole mentioned, we're in a, a very deep excavation, zero lot line project here in downtown Dallas. Uh, we got a concrete pour going on this morning. We're out here with our trade partner, ES Construction. Uh, they handle pretty much all of our place and finish here in Dallas. And yeah, I'd love to show you guys around. So yeah, this project's seven stories deep below grade. Over my shoulder here, we got seven stories, what we call the B7 level. We've already done our first slab on grade pour there. We've got a couple more pours to do there. Uh, we're standing up here on the B6 level. We've got a first slab on grade pour here. I think we're about 15,000 square feet on today's pour. Where we're standing here, this is actually the tower portion of the project. This is where that 27 story office tower is gonna go up. We isolated the tower portion of the project from the rest of the surrounding garage because the surrounding garage only goes up to the street level. So we isolated those two pores that make up the office tower so that we could bring that up ahead of the rest of the building since that's the critical path of the schedule. Allow us to get the glass, the interior framing and stuff going while we're working on the garage. So one of the interesting things on this project that we haven't done before is these shotcrete walls. Doing the shotcrete walls allowed us to go full height with the wall system, the structural perimeter walls in the basement. Shotcrete's pretty new to, to Dallas. It's been a, a big benefit to the job to do the shotcrete. Overall, we got about 67,000 cubic yards of concrete, about 8,250 tons of concrete, 1.3 million pounds of PT reinforcing, and about 1.15 million square feet of formed decks when it's all done. Got the first pour that we did over here was down on the B7 level. Got that knocked out last week. This is our B6 level pour, and these two will make up the tower area. And then once we're done with here, we're gonna bounce back over to the lower portion, the B7. We got two more slab on grade pours to go there, then seven stories of elevated deck to get up to the roof. Once we're done with the slab on grade over there, we'll bounce over here and get these two more pours of slab on grade on the, on the B6 level. And then again, six stories of elevated formwork to get up to the street there. So we'll have two crews running independently, running independent schedules. One bringing the tower up. The tower will always be several floors ahead of the rest of the garage. It's a massive project. Uh, we're, we're very fortunate and, and excited to, to be a part of it. I think we got our, our Boys from ES Construction out here, pretty much ready to go. Got the pump lined out, straightened out, ready to get some concrete on the ground. A little bit about ES Construction, we're actually a small concrete contractor. We specialize in place and finish and actual turnkey site concrete. The company got started in September 2020, a little bit scary time to start a business. This is something my partner and I uh, has, had thought about and planned out for several years ago in 2007 when Manuel and I crossed paths. We had actually both worked for concrete contractors in the individually. You know, I kind of bring some of the uh, office side of it you bring some of the field side of it, and we combine and get a good concrete company going. First 18 months, we had no other choice but to self-finance the company. That was one of the scariest parts, I think, in starting a business. We felt like we needed investors. We needed like a line of credit from the bank. Well, at the end of the day, you're a young company, that's kind of hard to get. We had great mentors throughout that time. I would reach out and, and just kind of, kind of just pick their brains. We're very grateful for having those kinds of mentors that we still reach out to today. One of the approaches we've had to, to trying to set up a good company is take care of our guys first. 
One of the things we do is making sure that we provide a good place of employment for our guys, make sure that they're happy. Come Sunday evening, the guys are getting ready for work. We want them to feel excited about coming to work for us. It's one of those things that it takes a lot of work. We gotta create that culture to be able to provide that for them. One of the big things Manuel and I like to do is we like to interview the guys ourselves. We share our five core values and let them know that this is where you can be up against. We focus on safety, quality, humility, integrity, and teamwork. You combine those five core values, and I think so far we've seen that it's really helped create a good culture with our company. It's a tough business, concrete, to provide good customer service. We actually have some of our staff meetings over at Chick-fil-A because they have great customer service. I tell the guys that, guys, we're striving to be the Chick-fil-A of concrete. We love the work, we love working with the people, we love the challenges that it presents as well, but we also enjoy finding that solution to the issues. All right guys, that's a wrap. If you like this type of content, this type of video, this type of construction, the concrete industry as a whole, be sure to like and subscribe because we got a lot more coming your way. Thanks for watching, we'll see you on the next one. Try to catch me howling at the moon. Like that? I don't know if that's how you wanted that to go. And I would blink up that. <laughs> Try that again, I guess. Do this, I like this. this how do I title you? Jeff Hooper. Jeff Hooper. You do better than I am. That's, that's what I'm getting. <laughs> that bad. Yeah, I hate that. that. perfect. I hate that part. Perfect. And your turn. Be sure to subscribe and... No. Do this. Touch my leg thingy. <laughs> you still, still going? Yeah. Concrete industry as a hoe. As a hoe. We're gonna go home, it's really hot. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs>